think that dividing the fractions are mission? Here is something to learn when it comes to division. Observe the fractions, remember the words. How many of the second can I get into the first? Now, look at the fractions you want to divide. Flip the second on its head and then you multiply. When you've done the calculation and the answer's right, you should have a bigger number than you first supplied. You think that dividing the fractions are mission? Here is something to learn when it comes to division. Observe the fractions, remember the words. How many of the second can I get into the first now? Look at the fractions you want to divide. Flip the second on its head and then you multiply. When you've done the calculation and the answer's right, you should have a bigger number than you first supplied. Yo, there ain't a problem that I can't fix, like a half divided by one six. Now observe the fractions, remember the words. How many of the second can I get into the first? So how many six will fit into a half? Wait, how am I gonna work that out? You having a laugh? Okay, let's get the plan of action right. Now I think it's time to introduce a fraction guide. First of all, we take a look at a half and ask how many sips could we fit in this part? If you're looking at a diagram, it isn't as hard. We can count them to find out how many they are. There's one, two, three, and that's clear to see. So a half divided by one six gives three. Now don't forget to check the answers right, cause you should have a bigger number than you first supplied. You think that dividing the fractions are mission? Here is something to learn when it comes to division. Observe the fractions, remember the words. How many of the second can I get into the first now? Look at the fractions you want to divide. Flip the second on its head and then you multiply. When you've done the calculation and the answer's right, you should have a bigger number than you first supplied. So, there ain't a problem that I can't fix, like a half divided by one six. To help us calculate the answer, here's a neat little trick for dividing up your fractions. It's clever and quick. Just look at the fractions you want to divide. Flip the second on its head and then you multiply. So one over six is now six over one. And we have to multiply instead of doing the division now. To find a half times six over one, multiply the top numbers, then do the bottom ones. That means the numerators are first in a mix to give one times six, which is equal to Six. Then multiply the bottom numbers two times one. Put the answer underneath and now we're almost done because the six over two will cancel down to see that one and a half divided by one over six is three. You think that dividing the fractions are mission? Here is something to learn when it comes to division. Observe the fractions, remember the words. How many of the second can I get into the first now? Look at the fractions you want to divide. Flip the second on its head and then you multiply. When you've done the calculation and the answer's right, you should have a bigger number than you first supplied.